Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Now, as promised today, we are going to go with a different vehicle. We're going to buy a new vehicle, but I didn't go out and do any extra jobs. I just didn't have the time between uh, recordings. But we do have 69,000, which is plenty to buy us a new vehicle. And I'm, I'm a little bit torn between the drop side and it would be the DMAN, you can uh, spruce it up a little bit, or, and it might seem silly, or a pickup, because they have quite a few different loads as well. The drop side, I think, should give us something different. We've got something here that looks like we can load stuff into a trailer with it, and we can clearly load into the back, load onto another trailer. We can pull different units. That's larger than what we've been pulling as well, and I think that is different as well we've loaded one of these we haven't loaded one of them so the drop side gives us options and the pickup gives us a ton of options in comparison to the minivan the pickup is pretty darn awesome but i think what i'm going to go with is the panel van not the panel van i lied the drop side van that's what we're going to go with so we'll get the man i believe that's going to cost us about 20 one yeah twenty one and a half thousand still we'll still have a shed load of cash so we shall purchase that beautiful and then we shall customize it quickly and i think this is uh, what we're going to go with we're going to go with the blue for the brand you can color both parts i'm going to keep that black black and blue sort of sort of our brand thing so let's uh, let's go for a drive and let's see what we can get so here we are somewhere new uh, with our van in the wild it looks all right that not bad not bad at all old big boy in here ready to go for a drive so uh, let's not hesitate let's not mess around anymore let's actually go for that drive there should be some sort of pickup around the back here so we'll see what we can do with that and um, we'll try and get a different one afterwards so if we do a green one now we'll see if we can hit a blue or a yellow after this drop off just to see what different things we can get that may have been why we didn't get different deliveries with the with the static is because we always hit one of these green ones although i think we tried a blue and there was nothing there we'll see we'll see what we can get so we've pulled these before so let's have a look at uh what we got that's a simple load on the back should we do it? that's what we'll do we'll do a simple load on the back to start with and then we'll try and do a trailer i think just to see what the differences are. So that's about six grand. Where are we going? We are going up that way. So coming out of, this is pretty much the quarry here. Coming out of the quarry, heading up. It's quite a trip. And then we'll see if we can get something that'll take us up that way. That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to get up in the hills, in the mountain. But we'll take this one. And while we're just out of cab, we'll have a little look. That folds down the sides for us. Obviously it's a drop side. <laughs> but that's how that works. But that's cool, that's cool. I like it. Again, something a bit different. Make sure we get the right side up. And with the van being that way, right, make sure I can do this again. Yep. Means you can, uh, I guess, load it from any side. So we'll see how it takes our pallets as we put them on. See how that works out. I wonder if that just locks it on at the back and I have to. Yep, so I have to go around the side to put the other one on. I think. Or is, it, is it slowly sliding forwards? No. It is It is at the back. So this one we've got to put on sideways. There's a ramp up there. Do you think there's a... A golden um, crate or something up there, that ramp? Should we take a detour today? Is there's a ramp. It's got to go somewhere. There's got to be a reason for there being a ramp there. And I want some of that free money. Let's get that on there. There's a ramp up there as well. Where do they... Oh, I can't get there now because I'm not in the... Right. Don't see anything twirling around, but it doesn't mean there isn't, does it? 
doesn't mean there isn't. Right, one of these deliveries, we're going to get on and try and uh, get up on one of them ramps. That's what we're going to do. Right, so let's find a way out of here, which I believe is round the front of this one. On the roadside. Or not, maybe? How do we get out of here? Is there a... Anyone see any crates? Golden crates? Nope. Right, there's a road here. It's quite nice in here. I like this. There's our entranceway. No, yeah, no. Well, it sort of looks like it should be. But it's not. Let's have a little look somewhere else. Ah, uh, we've got another bit here. Yeah, that looks like that maybe could have been an entrance and then decided not to be an entrance. But we're up in the hills. We've got a little different scenery today. I wanted a little different scenery. I've got to remember I've got my, got my head on my stick. It's a little bit smoother than my shaky hand on the mouse all the time. Come on, traffic. Oh, he's gone quick. He's gone quick. <laughs> Excuse me. I am a little bit congested today, so I do apologise for that. I don't know why. don't know where it's come from, but it's just one of those things. Let's get our cruise on. New van. New van man. What's it like out back? Ah, that's cool. Yeah, I think, you know, they're simple and basic enough, but they have enough detailing to, to give you what you need. Automatic shifter on there. The dash is alright, let's turn it on. Got our blue lights on. I'm not sure what I'll have shown of me um, customising, I might just speed that up. Just me picking colours, it's not really all that exciting. Any traffic? Yeah, I was wondering whether I should up the traffic at the minute. It's set at 12, and 12 is sort of halfway, so I guess we've got to 24. Whether we try and put it up a little increment to get us a little bit more traffic, maybe make traversing a little bit more of a challenge, and what have you, because some of these roads do feel a little bit empty. I'd like to see a little bit more peak traffic. We have a time of day, I know it's slow, and uh, we can manipulate it, but we do have a time of day. Oh, I mustn't forget. We need fuel. So should I come off here? Because you always need fuel with a new vehicle. They are almost empty. So we are going to come off and then we'll um, rejoin the sat nav. Should uh, correct that all up for us. Get a little view of the Docklands here. some petroleum from this gas station. Gas station! So that's the exit. Let's try and um, use it properly. Do it proper. Do it proper, sir. We're back low now, so I have to stop away from, stop away from the lights. Come on change. There we go. Oh, are you, what are you doing, Matt? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, ho, 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 ho. naughty bugger. Yep, they've got a red light. He should definitely have stopped. Nearly took me out with my fragile cargo and <laughs> my fragile ego. <laughs> right. Engine off. Fill up with gas, it's 175, so I don't know if that adjusts at all, because it gives us the price every time. But that was 127 creditos. So let's get going again, let's get back out on the road again. No right turn. Flying by us, and I think I need to ignore my sat nav. 
I want to go up. Is that not an up? No, that's not an up. I don't want to ignore my sat now. Wrong side of the road, sir. Need to leap around. Forgot I was in El Continental right hand drive for a bit. There we go. Back at it. So anyway, now that we are making a move and we're all sorted, I uh, hope you're well. Thank you very much for coming back to join us on the series. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying it, just having a chat, having a drive. That's what we do here. We chat, we drive. Sometimes we crash, sometimes we speed, sometimes we get in trouble. Uh, but uh, again, as I keep saying, I am enjoying my time on this game. I like that it's relaxing. I like that it's not too complex. Don't have too much to think about. We're just looking to make money collect vehicles and do deliveries and uh, we're going to try and do that sort of relatively quick where we can so we'll try and do two deliveries uh, again like we did before try and do for like four deliveries of each vehicle that, that gives us two episodes looking at each vehicle i think trying to get different different loads we just didn't have different loads it seemingly didn't have different loads to uh, deliver with the uh, the rigid i was looking forward to the rigid as well but not having a variety of uh, delivery types sort of took a little bit of shine off the rigid. Did have the challenge of a double though, and uh, we did we did three double deliveries, so we we certainly gave that a crack. Is there anyone on my right? There isn't. Let's slow down a bit. Let's slow down a bit more. Oh, oh, oh. thank you very much. I think I'm just pushing them. They're not even driving. Why are you not driving? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get a move on. All this faffing about. You're crawling as well. Come on. They're scared of the uh, speed enforcement vehicle. They just went past. Don't want to get caught, I guess. Yeah, so I think next vehicle, although I've already just got this one, next vehicle will either be the panel van or the pickup. As I say, they have they have different different deliveries and stuff. Let's see what we can do. The pickups just look, you know, pretty cool. Stay green. But it is a bright, sunny morn here. And it is morn. I think it's about 8 o'clock, maybe? Maybe start around about 6. Something like that. I can't quite read the clock on this one. Let me just lean into my screen. This is 8.57, I believe. It's got a right low hum to it. I'm going to have to wait at the light here as well. Stick a reverse uh, camera on just to scare the person behind us. Because that would suck our reverse light on. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a little bit of hilly terrain on this one. That's good. Something different. It's been sort of short highway and into cities. So, seeing how some of the vehicles deal. It's pretty good. I'll try and get a little uh, out cab for you. That weird camera was a bit, a bit south on, wasn't it? I can give it some more. We're not struggling up the hill. I'm just trying not to speed and manage my load. It's actually got quite a bit of poke to it. Seems to be dealing quite well. Although we've got some construction here. 
wonder if we can get a job dropping stuff off here. I'll be in there, a little construction site. Let's get some of that sand. You might be able to see some of those um, golden money crates from outside as well. I don't remember where that one was that we did see, so we're not collecting that, are we? I think this is where I had a delivery a while back when I said I did a night one and I came up this way. I think this is where the um, the nuclear power station is, that one I left. I've learnt the map. Look, I've learnt the map. I recognise stuff. Nuclear power plant. There it is. Right, we'll turn the left here. Let's um, let's get back in a cab because I, I weave about so much more when I'm out of cab. Perhaps we're dropping off some iridium rods or something. Well, I like this truck, this little vehicle. This is uh, this is nice. It's handled really well for us. Not going to grumble at that. Ooh, can't really see out the back. Let's look out the window. There we go. Call this the Labrador maneuver. Stick your head out. There we go. 6,272. No cargo damage. Excellent stuff. And our fuel. That, that surely doesn't take our fuel off of this, though, did it? One would have thought. Right. So we've got that there. But shall we see... What are the job types? I told because it did have. Let's have a look. Let's just have a look because I forget. I forget. Let's have a look. Now oh, we can load a trailer up here. I wanted one with the. Um, like it looked like a little skid steer. Perhaps we have to be on a building site for the skid steer one. Six grand, six grand. So we got, because that's just a regular trailer. Let's try. Let's see what this one is then. What is, what is this? And that's down to. Oh, see, we do this one, and then maybe next job, we can uh, get something out of the um, construction site. There it is. You can't see it. My fat head's in the way. But construction site is yellow. So, yeah, we'll we'll take that. We'll do this one. I was just having a little look around to see what the cargo was. I think the vehicle is the cargo. We are taking a forklift truck. That's what I'm talking about. New cargo. Oh. Let's lift the forks up so we can get on there, shall we? Let's do that. Go on, get up. That's in. Okay. What we need is a little ramp. So you could drive it up onto the back. That's what you need. Let's get back in here. Because that would have fit on the back of here. That would have fit fine. Someone just needs to get some planks for us. Go. I was going to press T. I don't need to press T. It's over here. Right. So we've got to be careful with it. You don't want it to fall off. Let's have a butchers of that. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, it does seem a bit wasteful. Not putting it on the back. Yeah, just need some uh, some loading boards. That's all. Let's go. <laughs> Man's got manoeuvres to make. And money to make. We'll see how long this one takes. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we are. We're we're off. We're off. Everything's on. Mindful of the camera. 
naughty, naughty man to sit in there trying to catch everyone. Look at a real job. That's what they say. It's keeping people safe. It's saving lives because everyone's slowing down. Myself included. You saw it. But was right on the brake. And now we're doing a nice, a nice, safe, casual 60. 60 kilometers. What's that like? Do we know what that is? Is that like 40? 68? 70? Must be like 40, 45. Real miles an hour. Really bad for the metric system. For someone that has lived and grown up in the metric system. The metric system conversion never been able to do and sort of the visual in my mind's eye of what the uh, the metric system is is just not very good feet inches miles that's what i know pounds i know i know pounds pounds and ounces give me a weight in kilos other than you know, like Anything over about five kilo, then I, I probably can't visualise it. You tell me something weighs thirty-seven pounds, and I can I can visualise what thirty-seven pounds or something is, or one hundred and sixty pounds. You tell me you tell me someone weighs two hundred two hundred and five pounds, I know how big they are. You tell me that someone weighs ninety-six kilos. I'd probably have to hazard more of a guess. And I think those two are pretty close. But then again, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Back when I used to do martial arts, a little bit of MMA, and I used to have to weigh in. Always weighed in in metric. Always weighed myself throughout. Like, try to cut a little bit of weight. Always weighed myself in metric. I had no real idea of how much I was weighing in pounds because I never just adjusted the scales. But it, it meant very little to me. But it was because everything was done in, in, the, in the metric system. So it was always like, you got to weigh in under XYZ. So <laughs> set the scales to KG and made sure I weighed in under XYZ. I'd much prefer it if they said you need to weigh this many stones or this many pounds. Well, I think sometimes people use. <laughs> Kilometers because it sounds better. Ran four miles, or did you run five thousand meters? <laughs> and five k. Okay. I don't know. It just doesn't. In my in my in my little brain, these are the thing. These are the things I think about. Let's get back to our, should we get back to the, the vehicle? Our new vehicle, our new man vehicle. This is is this our no, because we've got the scan and say this is our first real it's not. And I'm pretty pretty sure that man MAN would produce a drop side like this. Whether it's exactly like this, I don't know. But I, I imagine they would have something on the market similar to this. Although there's every chance the only thing that makes this <laughs> man is that wheel. Just slow down a little bit here. Slightly further journey than I thought we were having. 
thought it was closer than this. I doubt we're all that far out. Oh, it tells us to a little, well, a little over a thousand meters. There you go, seven hundred meters, six hundred meters. <laughs> so we're coming, we're coming in hot. Thirty meters. Now within 300 meters of our delivery point. We go. This is our spot. Just opposite. I think we may have even delivered here before as well. I think we just keep going back to the same places. We've got all these extra locations, and I feel like I'm going where I've been before. We may not have, but I mean, there's every chance that places just look very similar. But we're in. Go a little bit. A little back and in. Looks that way. Oh, can't really see it. And I can't see it in there. Does this show me? Not really very well. well I'll tell you what, I hadn't lined up too bad actually. Slight overcompensation there, but. The old beep doesn't know whether I'm going backwards quick enough to activate. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. All good. Right. That was 6,292. And that brings us back up to 60,000. 60,510 to be precise. And that will be it for another episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. New truck, new delivery type. That's what we like to see. Get some more, some more new stuff. Um, yeah, again, I'm enjoying it. It's just chilled. It's just chilled. It's just fun. It's not overly serious. It's a light-hearted simulator. And it works. I'm just going to keep saying it. It works. It's fun. Give it a try. If you must, wait for it to get on sale. Grab it cheap. But it, you, you won't regret it. I think you'll have fun with it. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.